So look what's going on now. I'm trying to unbrick a Netgear router, and in this case, it's the famous or infamous Netgear X8 R8500. Anyway, I have found a way to unbrick it. And a very nice, smart, intelligent, thoughtful gentleman has made this utility. And apparently, Netgear has a, uh, here's the address of it too, right about there. Okay, so Netgear has a protocol called NMRP, which I had no idea. So instead of using TFTP server, you can at least get the bricked router into a mode where we'll talk to this program and then run TFTP to, uh, and this must have a TFTP server built into it, but this will get you into a mode, uh, I suppose, more easily than using TFTP client from your command line. Anyway, I just unbricked the router with this and I'm pretty happy. I bought eight of them. They were all trashed. And let's see how this works. So you can download the program, as I said, right here. And I should send this guy some money. This guy, this guy is really, really good. This is a great, great, great program he wrote. It looks like he's been doing it since 2016. Anyway, this is fantastic. So you can use it like this. And that's all well and good. But let's show you how I used it on, and I'm on Mac OS, so this is Mac OS. So here we're on Mac OS. You don't wanna see my Amazon purchases, remember you do. Um, here we're on Mac OS and I was able to run it with this command line right here. So I'm downloading Kong's build of DDWRT, this is from Kong, on open router. And so all I said was N M R P flash minus I. In my case, I'm using uh, EN0. And so the gentleman who made this program very thoughtfully has a way you can list all these interfaces. So I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, I ran this. This didn't make much sense what this meant. I don't know what that meant, but it did that. And then start advertising this thing on EN0. And I just turned the router off and on and left the room. So I left the room and came back and saw it was done. And I about fell over and died. I thought, this is so cool. But anyway, it did do it. And so this must be the, um, the Mac of the router. And so it sent configuration. It said, hey, give me a file. I don't care what, just give me a file. And so then it sent this file, which I outlined in the command line. So in the command line, I said, send this file. So I said, uh, enter MP flash, the interface EN0, verbose, the file name minus F is this file. So it did send that. It said, using remote file name, and so it sent it down. Uploading, so uploading, what does that mean, uploading? So this, uploading, uploading, yeah, so, okay, from the respect, from the put command here, if this thing's using put, or I don't know how it does it, but anyway, it, it sent it, and it sent all these bytes down there, so. And then it kind of hangs around, and then once it, once it reboots, I guess it says a handshake, remote finished, reboot your device now. So now you want to power off, and I guess do a 30, 30, 30 on it. Um, so a 30, 30, 30 means you, you press the reset button, power on for 30 seconds, and then you um, keep the reset button pushed, and you let the power button go, and then you wait 30 seconds, and then you push the power button on again, with reset still held, 30 seconds, you let it go, turn it off, and turn it on, and it comes in to the uh, Kong build and it works. So that's what I did and the router's working. So you're saying, okay, Mr. Slick, that's fine. Um, I, I think what I should do then is 
I could reflash this router or I could find another one that's sitting in the pile here. And so that one is sitting there humming away. Um, and I have another one I flashed, I think, over there. How about a broken one? Okay, there's one over there on the side. I'm gonna hang on a minute. I'm gonna go fire that one up. Give me one second here. Okay, so I got a dead router that's on its side, and I'm gonna connect it up now. Actually, this one didn't flash yet because I didn't do a 303030, so I'm unplugging it. I'm putting in a known dead router that is in a boot cycle. It keeps rebooting, rebooting, rebooting. So I'm now gonna plug that one in here, and we'll go through this together. Get it powered up, it's plugged in. All right, so, Oh, and, and, and I have this, this thing on a hub. So I have a little hub here, and the hub has the computer plugged in from the Mac OS uh, iMac. It's plugged into one side of the hub, and the other side goes to the, uh, the router. So I'm just going to start this again, and it will start, and we'll see how it goes. So here I'm going to start it, and we'll let it run. Okay, it's advertising. Now I'm gonna turn the thing on. I'm gonna turn the thing on and see how it goes. Router plugged in, press the power button. And this now might be a game of hurry up and wait. So when it's advertising, this will spin along as you see. And somebody was saying, oh look at that. Son of a gun. <laughs> so I didn't push any buttons at all on the router. I just powered it on and connected up the ethernet. So look at that thing spinning. So it's downloading the file now and we're uploading it and the lights are flashing like mad. So this thing works like sliced bread, like a bread slicer. It works fantastic. This is so much better than doing TFTP stuff from your command line. I mean, this is like the cat's meow, meow, meow. So we'll give it a minute here to upload the Kong build on this bricked router. And then we'll, you'd want to give it, I guess, a 30, 30, 30 reset to bring it to life. So at the end of this thing, it says to reboot. It doesn't automatically reboot the router. So, And I guess you want to give it time to actually configure it. Once it uploads it, it still has to, I suppose, impress it into the um, NVRAM, so I'm guessing it works that way, but who knows? Maybe it's now loading it all in the RAM, and then it just that's all it needs, and it boots up and it's there. I don't know how it works. So my dog is here, and it's hungry. It's not really hungry, but it thinks it is. It's an old dachshund. You're not hungry, I guarantee you're not hungry. You're not. The dog is also deaf, so it can't hear me. Okay, look at that. So the file is up there. And remote respond. I think it responds by what? Oh, we'll shut down. I'm looking at it. Um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, okay. So maybe when it's done with the actual program part. So this would be the part here where you don't want to power it off because you'll really screw it up. So. I'm guessing that it understands that it's programming, and then once this firmware's loaded, it'll say "ack," meaning I'm good to go, reboot me. So that's what it did up here. It did that up here. So let's see what this one does. This is brick router number two, which I had it lying on its side, meaning on its side means it's bricked. So I bought a bunch of these routers in various states of Contusion. Taking a while. I, I don't know if it's going to time out, but eventually it'll be done. Um, nothing's flashing. It's just sitting there. Um, looks like, yeah, it's got connection. It's got links. So, okay, there it is. Look at that. So it's done. Okay, so I'm going to reboot the device, and I wanted you to come along with me and see how easy this program is. This this N. MRP program, and I'm on Mac OS, so 
check it out. It works. You got to be root, of course, to run this thing. So, Darwin kernel, blah, blah, blah. This is Mac OS. So, check it out. That's about it. Not much else I can show you, but I've unbricked two of these in a, in a batter of like 10 minutes. So, it beats all day fussing with TFTP. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day.